Hey there, everyone. So, this is gonna be a follow up to today's diary. So, right now it's 4 and 12 p.m., and it's like uh, 23 degrees outside. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit mentally drunk, you know? And to the point where I really, really don't know what to do. Aside of, of course, watching out for any more bullshit that's gonna come in my way from the internet. And, um, of course, avoiding the shit out of uh, tomorrow's field trip, because let's be real. Like, I can't just go to the same place like three times. And aside of that, uh, drunken mental state, I have quite a headache, so it's a real ridiculous mix-up at times. Meanwhile, um, a little bit of digging, and I was able to, to so far see, like, three or two of my older friends, one from a Discord server that I did not expect, while the other was uh, on YouTube. I'm gonna give very short summaries about them. Basically, the first one, the Discord friend, was basically have been my friend ever since Twitter times. They used to own and roleplay as Kale, and I'm gonna admit, like, it was quite fun to be honest uh and um it took us quite a while and eventually we separated because of a stupid reason where basically they're telling me to tone down the texting them thing and uh, eventually i ditched them then there's a second one I found them off a YouTube channel that I expected from a long time ago. Or did expect that they would stay the same to be honest, but here we are anyways. Basically, uh, she was someone who happened to be a big retro game fanatic and beyond. And someone that actually has quite a decent library of console games whatsoever. We met in a fighting game tournament uh, related uh, server and uh, we've been very great friends until later on once again she was like down down the usual uh, the usual greetings and questions and whatsoever because it kind of bugs me off and yada 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 then two days later or something I've decided to ditch them myself and I could just see why the hell would people hate me right now. Along with, of course, someone else who I have ditched them for absolutely zero reason, which is kind of stupid. I was also a Twitter roleplay friend. In fact, the first ever zero that I honestly ever interacted with long ago. Right. And, um, I'm gonna be honest, having those people with me, and the fact that I've ditched them long ago, is just a complete big mistake. Along with, of course, the others that I have, um, ditched them because of me being a fucking idiot and a selfish motherfucker, honestly. Like, I'm gonna admit, I've been way too selfish about that. And of course, I won't be able to unite with them all, because I totally have no idea where I am gonna be able to unite with them, or how do I even reach them anymore. So, it's quite understandable. Meanwhile, um... There's pretty much nothing, you know, there's pretty much nothing else aside of me relaxing, my brother having a 
tutor teacher and over um, um, and trying to get the headache off along with my brain to be settled down some even though I literally just activate stupidity mode where I usually watch some dumb memes especially the to the fact that I've watched some Harry Potter compilation stuff and I'm gonna be real I really forgot how hilarious most of the most of the moments in Harry Potter movies were especially with Ron like the one that plays Ron is just hilarious as well as the two that play George and Fred really and of course I honestly cannot forget how kind of badass uh, the one that plays uh, Hermione used to be like not even joking like badass in almost every movie I guess you know meanwhile I uh, I'm gonna hope and again just gonna hope that things do not escalate any further than that you know like you know what's been getting you know what's been getting worse is the fact that I get really tempted sometimes to just jump in and know new people especially uh, YouTube RP communities you know like but then I know that there's something idiotic and ridiculous is gonna happen to me if I try to literally find someone new. Which is, of course, a big fucking mistake. But at the end, it, um, it goes without saying that honestly lots of things that I have did back in the day and way before that for that time was a very huge ass mistake in fact I really 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 like I'm really disgusted of myself for not only getting myself involved and to be to be a huge disgrace to myself and to my country and to my language and also my religion but literally ditching and leaving out the actual best friends that were actually there for me and replace them with a bunch of like a hypocrite double-faced clown assholes that I did not honestly expect or even keep in mind about at any goddamn longer because I've been honestly so naive, so naive to the point where I even thought that I would be able to actually replace them with most of these people, but that whole thing happened, and I deeply regret it, like I just deeply regret it, like, and I know that who I have reached to are like a very little, but at least it's better than nothing. You know, uniting with the older friends that you can actually reach to is just way, and I mean way better than being absolutely alone like that. I might see some very, very rude welcome, but I deserve it honestly. I deserve that rude welcome from the people because... After all, I ditched them like an idiot. Really, I ditched them like an idiot. And there was, and there's honestly no way that I could actually change that because of what happened. But if I can be skeptical or real honest more, Sometimes the best thing is to just 
literally hang on to your own current circle. Yeah, right now I don't even know what I'm talking about, but all I can say is I've learned that, like after that, I've really, really learned a very valuable lesson that I will never, ever, ever forget in my entire life. Even after years, you know, that what you used to have from way back, even like before and after the pandemic and whatsoever, what you had was absolutely irreplaceable. Alright, what you have had all along at the older times was literally was literally irreplaceable. And you should have never, ever, ever have let it go or replace it with anything. Because you see, you replace that thing or that person. You, you even, like, make the attempt for this. And you're gonna regret it very badly. Like, not only physically, but mentally. You know, like... Basically, it's going to be a very huge undoing. And, like most of the people, I've literally ditched them because of the change of the topics. Or, uh, or the, you know, or the stuff with the usual greetings and whatsoever. Or, um... Or because of the fact that they weren't active enough and I just keep questioning them and I'm being an ass to them because of the activity thing. And um, these were like towards, and, like the fact that, that I have did this towards my older friends, the ones that they clearly even stated that they would never leave me no matter what or never ditch me or turn on me no matter what the ones that they actually have viewed me as a friend as a human being as an actual person who is deserving to be treated as a human you know ones that actually treat me decently like the fact that I did this towards them was unforgivable and I fucking deserve and I fucking deserve to be literally punished but not by those god but not by those goddamn people from that server I would I would honestly just be punished or killed by those same older friends that I have did them dirty and I know for a matter of fact that some or a very few of them is watching this. And I know they're pissed. I know they might be pissed. And I know they might be laughing there. And I know that most of the others, probably from the server, are laughing their asses out. Um, because they're probably just watching every goddamn thing I do. And I know for a matter of fact that I'm getting way much bigger backlash from just speaking out like this, but <sighs> insult me all you want, but in your goddamn places, please. Like, just insult, put more goddamn rumors and bullshit in your goddamn servers and whatsoever. Just do not shoot them at me, alright? Just do whatever the hell you want. Like, honestly, I deserve that. Just because, not all, not just because I have did the whole thing, but it's because I have decided to ditch my older friends. From whether it's from whether it's like other servers that's been like, you know, a complete foundation ever since the Twitter times, or its foundation, or literally the foundation was from other Twitter branches. You know, and I just deeply regret it. I deeply regret it. And I truly hope one day 
so I could just see those other people and be with them again and who knows I'll be doing a much better job with them because like I said they were the only ones that actually trusted me they were the, they were the only ones that I, we have actual like friendship and mutual trust and mutual like decency and pretty good times and whatsoever and I again I know for a matter of fact that I have already lost more than already beyond more than just those other people that I've mentioned before or even like the server I know for a matter of fact that I might have already lost literally everyone and everything whether it's from Twitter or Discord or YouTube. I know for a matter of fact that I have completely destroyed my own friendship circle. I know for a matter of fact. But um, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry for even I'm sorry for thinking that uh, that I actually didn't have friends. Like, I was totally stupid. Of course I've had friends. Of course I've had decent friends. Of course I've had some actual great people that were there for me and willing to, like, I might be over-exaggerating, but I'm just gonna say, most of them have literally willed to destroy mountains and break some rules to get to, to literally, like, save me and stuff and now that this happens I know for a matter of fact that people just want me assassinated or destroyed I just know it and um, yeah and like honestly I just wish that things did not get to that like i've had friends i've had potential online girlfriends i've had potential roleplay buddies i've had i've had lots of good things but right now i'm in hell i'm in i'm in literal online hell like not only people are trying to trying to fucking hurt me more but I literally don't have my goddamn other friends. I'm simply alone. And I've got a very, very, very few branches of those who actually care. But honestly, it's not enough. I just want to see those other older people again. And who knows? Who really knows what could happen? But I just just can't handle it. And um, it's just hurts. You know, it just hurts that the fact that I have doomed myself to this situation. Where I literally not only have to block people, but also have to make several lots of compromises towards a whole, a whole gaming genre. Like, I've literally lost a whole genre out of this. A whole video game genre out of this. And I don't even know if I could ever ever look at it the same way again <sighs> but um so this I can do is just move on with my life without any of these and I guess moving on with my life without those other old friends and hopefully I could and hopefully one day I would actually, and hopefully, like, 
Hopefully things just don't get any more worse than that. Like right now it's safe. And I am very thankful for that. Like, right now things are safe. Like, no ridiculous shitty updates, no no one's trying to assassinate me, no one's trying to catfish at me, like, everything's fine. I'm very thankful for it, but I need my old friends back. Like, now, I need my old friends back. Then, I would not give an absolute shit about anything else, alright? Just give me my old friends that I have ditched back, and... I'm gonna be absolutely fine. I don't need I don't need new subs. I don't need new followers. I don't need new friends. I don't need anything else. I don't even need money. I don't even need new new jays or clothes or whatsoever. I just need my old friends back. That's that's literally all I need. Other than that, I don't care. And this is where I will stop this. And just to basically, I hate to repeat myself, but I'm just gonna repeat it. But a very valuable lesson that everyone already on my have already got by and understood by now. That basically, um, those who were there for you from the start, don't ditch them. Right? Don't ditch them. Keep holding on to them. Stick with them, and cherish them. Because you really don't know what does that what does replacing them and ditching them can ever do to you.